It's 521. We're waking up to clear skies and cool temperatures. 61 degrees out at the airport. Our dew point is even lower than yesterday at 57. So there's not a lot of moisture in the air. You may notice yourself needing that extra lotion, the lip balm, or even drinking extra water because we are picking up very dry conditions. Winds right now are light. However, they will shift out of the south today, drawing in just a little bit more in the way of our moisture content. Tappahannock, you're coming in on the cool side. 63, 54 over in the Tri-Cities, 52 in Louisa, Charlottesville at 59, Stanton, you're back in the 40s, 49 degrees to start off your morning. So, of course, we are cooler than yesterday. And if you combine those two mornings together, that's around a 30 degree difference in a handful of spots. So definitely cooler than where we have been. Now, this afternoon, despite the cold start, we're going to warm up quite nicely because remember, your dew point is low, even though it will slowly go up throughout the day. You still got a lot to work with. We're going to fluctuate these temperatures. So the key is to layer your clothes because by the afternoon we're heading into the upper 80s, even low 90s. Now this evening, as the sun goes down, we're still going to hold steady in those 70s and eventually get back into the 60s because of that moisture content. We don't fluctuate as much. Right now we are clear. I look to see some fair weather cumulus clouds by the afternoon. However, all eyes continue to stay on Hurricane Dorian. Now a category two storm, but is anticipated to make a labor landfall as a category four. This would be one of the strongest storms, actually the strongest storm to make an East Coast Florida landfall since Hurricane Andrew back in 1992. We saw the damage that happened then. Please make sure that you are encouraging others to evacuate and we're praying for safety for everyone that does stay behind. As far as the system is going to linger over Florida and it's going to draw in a lot of rain. Of course, with hurricanes, we also have some spin tornadoes. I anticipated to hug the East Coast as we head on into your Friday and then eventually we could see some of that moisture into our vicinity, but that would not be until around seven to 10 days from now, because once it does make landfall, it's still going to move pretty slowly. We've got nice conditions for us over the next several days. 89 today, 90 tomorrow, 87 on Sunday, but it's going to feel like those 90s because we will have a little bit more in the way of our dew points. A slim chance for an isolated shower Monday. Majority of you will be dry and the 90s are back Tuesday as well as Wednesday. Rob Reba.